Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Pyro Falcon Plays Sim City 2013. I, uh, I'm starting to get a little tipsy. It's two in the morning. My head hurts. So this will be my last episode for the session. Although, hopefully, there will still be another episode tomorrow. Um, tomorrow relative to when you're watching this. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, God, my face. Alright, so we have a bunch of unemployed people, which is good. But what's bad is, I don't really have anything for them to do. And I just realized, I left one of the trading depots to have a freight thing, but I never did build any industrial zones. Not that I care, it doesn't really matter. All right, so right now we have the question of education. Now, as you can see from the money, we don't really gain that much. Um, we're just about breaking even. We're making a monthly transaction. You can see down there, 56 grand, which is okay, but it's not super awesome and fantastic. So I've been arguing with myself whether I even want to do education. But ultimately, it will help everything, uh, and it will help happiness uh, most of all. Hopefully, that means we can also start expanding some of these lower residential or lower density. Yeah, bring our schools back. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. That's exactly what we're going to do right the hell now. So there are a bunch of places I could place it. Um, placing it. I'm sorry for sniffing in the mic, guys. My allergies are kicking up, too. Placing it here would be stupid, um, because I don't want to put an intersection this close to the highway. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm arguing with myself which side here do I want to put it on. Because basically I want to either put it on this road here, or build a road here and place it there. Although I could put it there too, across from the... Let's put it across from the solar plant. That way I don't have to build any more roads. Excuse me. So, um, we have 2,000 students who need... Where is it? There it is. We need 2,200 students enrolled. So, uh, let me see... The grade school can have a total of... 950 when it's maxed out. I think I'm going to just... I haven't done this before. I haven't just... Oh, the... damn, that's expensive. Good God. Well, let's try it. Oh, that's more room than I thought I had over here, too. Okay. So... Just plopping the high school gives me... Um, 800 desks. And then this will add a thousand desks. Now that's all I'm going to do for now because first of all I'm down to 110,000. Second of all, again I'm still losing 3,500 an hour with all that. I don't know if I'm going to continue making a profit or go. We're just going to. My voice slipped. I'm like talking my normal voice. <clears throat> Let me try going in my sultry mode. Um, so it seems that, okay, we have 1,800 desks. That means we only have about 400 students who will not be enrolled. I can fix it with one more set of classrooms. But the problem is, since we're already losing 4,000 an hour and I only have 116,000 in the treasury, I don't want to build anything quite yet. And remember, education is really not that important here in New England because we've got everything else kind of worked out. There aren't that many skilled jobs. Um, I mean, this is a mining and metalworking town, so it's really not necessary for them to be perfectly educated. So I, I'm just going to stick with this for now. Um, we'll see uh, how that is, how that affects the rest of the town. Um, if, for the most part, everyone's cool with it, um, like if, if generally speaking. 
all the residents are happy with this level of education, then we'll just let it go. Or if we start getting money in after all, then I'll go ahead and add another wing of classrooms, and then we'll be all set. So, but, uh, you know, one thing at a time. Okay, so I do believe everything has bus stops. Let's double check that, because that would certainly... Oh, those are the bus stops. I thought those were the mass transit stops. No. Okay. Yeah, okay, so everybody's covered. Alright, that's good. So we should have hit, um, we won't hit it now because it's already 7 at night, but we should hit the uh, maximum um, students. We should be able to fill all 1,800 desks um, tomorrow. Crime has the upper hand. Now, my instinct, jail cells are nearly full, my instinct is to uh, build a large police station, but... Again, I wonder if that's really necessary, because once we get education going, crime will go down. Since, again, we all know that education is OP in this game. And then, hopefully, that means just having the high school will uh, fix that problem. And then we won't have to have as many cops running around. What is going on here? The criminals are hanging out at the... Uh, that cop just drove in front of a criminal and didn't even care. Okay, well, how's the crime map looking? There are a lot of criminals in the police station, which makes sense. Wow, crime's really bad over here. A lot of shoplifting. And arson, apparently. And more arson. Wow, everybody loves to set fire. I guess they know who their mayor is and they want to go with his namesake. My computer sounds like it's freaking out too, which is another, um, oh, police stations or the jail cells are full, damn it. Um, my computer's making noises and kind of freaking out, which is another good reason for me to stop playing for the night. So this will be my last episode for the session, however, um, I will, I don't know if I'll do any more recording, um, tomorrow or the next day. Or the next day. I don't know. I don't know what my plans are this week. I really don't have plans. It's one of the few weeks um, the Akamura will not be visiting my apartment. Ergo, I don't quite know what I am doing. It's funny when you have someone who visits your apartment just about every week. When they suddenly do not. You start to wonder what you're going to do with yourself. Well, it looks like the cops are doing alright. I guess they're stopping a lot of the crimes, but they're not really reducing the number of, did that just say upgrade roads to increase, the... isn't that, wait, whoa, whoa, wait, what? It's already a medium density freaking road. Oh, that one isn't, how did I miss that one? That's better. I don't think that's the one they were referring to, though. I think one of these houses are actually ready to go to high density. Yep, see? This one could go to high density. I don't want to make it go to high density, so we're not going to upgrade it, but we already have 605 unemployed people. No reason to stuff even more into the city. And we're still making an overall profit despite the high school's presence, which is good. And a little unexpected. I thought the high school would cost more. Certainly that initial cost hurt, but... Again, we're going to have to let the game simulate out for a while to see if it really did have um, a large impact. Wow, what happened here? Building fire. Building fire. Couldn't find shops or parks. There's one down the fucking street from you, douchebags. Buy a city map. There's houses or shops right here, just to your left. 
How hard would that have been? Am I going to have to put a freaking barbecue pit on every block? Is that what's going to happen? Couldn't go to school. Ugh, idiots. You're all idiots. Okay, so we dropped under 50,000 people. We've And now we have 606 unfilled jobs, so we've started to lose a little bit of progress. Uh, let's see, how are we doing with our education? 1,400 students enrolled, so... Um, we got the majority. Away from any specific spot. Whoa. No, oh, they're kind of spread out everywhere. That's fine. Robbery in progress. That's nice. He's ballsy doing a robbery in frickin' 4 p.m. in the afternoon. That was redundant. He's really ballsy doing a robbery at 4 in the afternoon, given it's broad daylight. Alright, so now that I know, unfortunately, well, after when I should have known, but anyway, now that I know that we don't have high wealthy people who ride streetcars, I have a feeling that I don't need to do streetcars because, uh, or at least not in New England, because of the um, sheer number of my bus army, especially given, well, Yeah, see, they seem to be covering everything pretty well. Although none of the buses are up in this northern section for some reason. Anyway. Okay, so we haven't... Let's check in on the arcology again real quick. 430 tons of alloy. Only th A70 of metal. So the metal um, exportation has slowed down considerably, but... Remember that we are, um, I said exportation, we're really, the, that's, that is the problem. We are exporting the metal for profit rather than sending any to the uh, arcology. So alloy will likely be done first, and then once alloy is done, we can start exporting alloy for the profit and send all metal to the arcology. So we, uh, you know, like I said, we're on our way, and I have a plan um, that's assuming our ore holds out, which it looks like it's going to hold out. I mean, there are still, you know, there there's two untapped sources here. This source is untapped. This source has a building on it, but is technically untapped since the building isn't even on. And I can extend one of these, um, one of the actual ore mines this way into the mayor's mansion. I can just blow my mayor's mansion up. I don't really care about it. And then we could even place an ore mine here and get this section. So the point is we have plenty of ore. Um, I had been worried about that at first, but we've got plenty. What is your problem, fire department? Fire service is slow. You know what? I don't really care. I really don't care because the whole problem here... Wait, what? Why is that a high risk of fire? Oh, because it's abandoned. Right, abandoned buildings have a higher chance of being set on fire. <laughs> Uh, okay. Alright, so how do we do with education? 1422, right. So hopefully by tomorrow we will have... Ever, uh, we will max that out. Um, why is traffic suddenly bad again? I thought we took care of a lot of this. I know we took care of a lot of this. I'm wondering if it would be in my better interest to build another fire station just more north. Yeah, especially when that's going on. I wonder if that's arson or if that's, uh... Whoa. Too much crime, too much crime, always problems. Whoa, slow down. Is that it? Oh no, one more. 
building fire. <laughs> yeah, I'm seriously starting to wonder if I need to more centrally locate, or not centrally locate, but just stick another um, fire station up here in this section. Let's see, how much would another fall, small fire station cost me? 400 an hour. <sighs> pain. Well, we can offset that a little bit. So, what we're going to do is we're going to destroy one of these. And up here. Um, you know what? Let's hedge our bets. Let's place the fire station right here on the freaking corner. Okay, so now we have four trucks, and more importantly, we have a fire department right here, right in the, for this neighborhood, and because he's right here on the corner, I believe this means he can basically start by going down this path, down the commercial side of the road, down the commercial side of the avenue, rather, to hit any of those buildings that might catch on fire, especially when the arson start coming everywhere, so. Um, overall, I think we're doing all right. Man, traffic is up bitch, isn't it? This road is still good. This was a very good strategic road that I placed, but this one is not doing quite so hot. Okay, I didn't want to do this for a long time, but I think I need to. We're going to upgrade all of these roads to high density. Avenues, rather. Um, just the ones here, just because of the sheer amount of traffic that it has to deal with. I don't think the commercial zones will bother upgrading to high density, and... Even more importantly, I really doubt the uh, um, the residential zones attached to it will either, but we'll see. We will see what happens. That really didn't help anything. All that did was pack more cars in the same little tiny section, but whatever. Oh, I know how I could stop the high-density buildings from happening. Wait, that doesn't help me at all. Never mind. <laughs> Dude, it is getting late. I'm tired. It's so late and I'm tired that I just called you dude, even though I don't know who's watching this. And I know for a fact I have several female fans. So anyway, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm probably going to, when I watch this tomorrow and start throwing it together to edit the video and post and all that, I am probably going to hate what I sound like. I'm going to hate it, and I'm going to regret it. But you know what? I don't care. It's fun. As long as you guys are entertained, I'm happy. Oh yeah, how are we doing on those now that I expanded the fleet again? I forget. I don't think we actually watched it happen. Okay, how are we doing on garbage and recyclables? This is funny, you can almost see that they actually did do a zone type of deal here, where the garbage trucks hit the north side first, and now they're doing the south side, and the recycling trucks did the opposite. That seems actually efficient and intelligent, so I'm shocked. But it's 7.30, so it's almost 8 o'clock, and they're still not done. It means we need to get more trucks in the fleet. Traffic's bad, but... We had more trucks. Well, maybe that is it. Maybe it's just traffic. One of these, uh, maybe in the next episode I'll have to watch them again in the morning and see if they get uh, stuck in the morning and that's why they can't get over here fast enough. I always hate seeing those tall bars. Um, just, well, I guess that was a complete st sentence. <laughs> I always hate seeing those tall bars, like this one up here that, what is that, 70 bins of recyclables that are going to go to waste. And just poof, and be dumped on the ground. Just because my trucks are all grouped. Like this douchebag here, I wonder what his problem is. Oh, he's just stuck in traffic too. Maybe what I should do is reduce the number of commercial zones I have here. That would actually be prudent. 
Let's do that. Let's do that right now, actually. This is going to upset people temporarily. Wait, what? Look at all those unfilled jobs. That's from the commercial zones coming up. That's a bad thing. Okay, so what we're going to do... Well, I guess I'll have to save that for the next episode because we're at 20 minutes. But all these offices that are coming up are significantly increasing how many jobs we have. We no longer have any unemployed people. And the problem with that is their jobs may be taking away from what our focus is. So I need to put a stop to that. And I have a solution how, but that will wait for the next episode. So tune in, hopefully, tomorrow, guys, for another episode of Pyro Falcon Plays. And also, hopefully, I'll remember what my plan is by the next time I play. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and all that if you are so inclined. I appreciate it, and I also appreciate the views more than anything. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.